I'm from a company called Unor Technologies. I am a senior technical account manager. Today I'm going to take you through something called social panels within Brandwatch Research, our best in breed social listening to tool as well as consumer research tool. If you don't know about it, you want to know about it. So be sure to contact us after this video. I'm going to share my screen. I'm awkwardly using Google Meet, so I'm on a call by myself recording this video. So <laughs> I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to take you through social panels. Awesome. So once you've logged into Brandwatch Research, I'm just going to navigate to my data area over here and I'm going to navigate to something called social panels. So what are social panels? So social panels, uh, is a consumer persona feature within Brandwatch Research. It's really cool actually because it allows you to segment parts of your market into specific audiences or personas. Um, and it can be location specific, it can be keyword specific or persona specific. So, for example, I want to know what all moms in South Africa are saying about a specific brand or a specific product or a specific topic. Or I might want to look into everyone who who says they've run the comrades um, so I can zoom into those very specific audiences and get the insights I need this helps us um, save a bit of time if we already have the vision we know who we want to target we want to look at that specific market and what they're saying about certain things we use social panels to then zoom into that really quickly instead of as you know with brand watch research you can take a look at an entire conversation at once so i can take a look at everyone who has mentioned comrades and i can really dig into that data but i might want to look at something outside of that conversation. So I might want to look at something very specific, like everyone who claims that they ran the comrades, they either put it in their Twitter bio or they stated it explicitly on social media. And then I want to take a look at what shoe brands that they have been talking about over the last six months, for example. So it would be interesting to see, you know, are they ASICS runners? Are they Nike runners? We don't know. So social panels allows us to get very specific like that. Uh, you get two types of social panels. You get the predefined social panels that Brandwatch has so kindly already created for us. There are a bunch of geniuses that have really worked hard to create these existing social panels. Um, so just a note on social panels, you're predominantly looking at two content sources. Uh, you're looking at your Twitter data, which is all public data, and then you're also looking at Reddit data. So no, you can't create a persona based on Facebook or Instagram data, um, but there's still a lot of value in creating social, social panels. Um, outside of those content sources. So that's a quick nugget. Um, so you have these predefined social panels that Brandwatch has set up, uh, which is pretty interesting. A lot of it's also very generational. So if I want to look at Gen Z specifically, if I want to look at um, left-wing politicians, right-wing politicians, um, you can zoom into those predefined. You also have something called saved social panels. So this is where the fun comes in. This is where we get to create our own social panels. I get to go as Megan Holmes, I get to go. I wanna look at everyone who has mentioned comrades within their Twitter bio and that are specifically within South Africa, for example. So this is when you can get very creative with that segment that you want to look into granted that is not too narrow guys let's not go too narrow uh, too broad gives you too much data you still want to have a nice in between not too narrow not too broad um so yeah we have created a number of different um social panels already looking at dads in south africa your father's day is just part mothers in south africa mother's day was in may we've looked at runners and people who say that they are fitness lovers um, and then also looking at you can also look at brand specific audiences i want to look at and compare the new balance audience with the assets audience i hope i'm saying that word right if not you guys can comment and blow up my linkedin account if you want okay 
Okay, so how do we create a social panel? So you can either upload an author list that you've created. <clears throat> That's really fun. You can download an audience list from Brandwatch itself and then re-upload it into a social panel if you want to do. Um, or you can define that search yourself, which is probably the best way to go about it. It's also very fun. Um, so my favorite go-to with um, social panels specifically is buyer contain. So, uh, you have a bunch of Twitter bios out there. People love to talk about themselves. They love to say who they are and what they do and what really defines their individuality online. So we can use that to our advantage and we can really search what their bio contains. So in this case, I might want to look at, ooh, let's hope I spell comrades right. <laughs> Everyone who has mentioned comrades. Um, I think comrades is one, one M. Uh, every, everyone has mentioned comrades, but um, if you're like a Megan Holmes and you don't know how to spell, some people could be misspelling comrades too. Comrades. So you can also have the variations, which is always wise, have the variations of um, how that is spelled. So I'll have anyone mentioning comrades. So I'm actually going to place runner in here. Comrades runner. And then I'm going to add a group because I want to cluster it to a specific location. So author location, the bio contains their comrades runner, and then their location is going to be South Africa. You can broaden your location if you want to. So here, for example, we see, okay, comrades, guys, one M. <laughs> um, so comrades runner. So maybe if it's too niche, I might want to just remove the word runner and then just click search there. Okay, cool. That looks way better. So here are people who have defined comrades. Uh, recreational runner, um, this is a presenter, sports and a comrades finisher, comrades marathon winner. So we have a bunch of people. If we don't want um, specific accounts like the comrades race itself, we can remove this from the conversation by going add exclusion. So we can exclude a specific author username. So we're going to remove the at and we're going to click search comrades race. So you can also define it like that. I think what might also help is you can also look for account type. So I'll change this to an and. I want a comrades run or comrades runners um, and their account specifically is an individual, not a business. So there we go, we have our social panels made up of all these wonderful individuals that we can now tap into and understand what it is that they're specifically talking about. We can look at their top professions, their top interests, if they're male or female looks very interesting already. Um, and then obviously 100% uh, individual account type. So I'm gonna click save social panel. I'm gonna give this a name, comrades, runners, or enthusiasts, we don't know. We'll click save and close. So there we've created our social panel. Now what we can do is I already have a, a number of categories um, applied for, um, for specific queries already. So now what we have to do is we have to take that social panel we've created and I'm going to plug it into a query. <coughs> So we can ask the question, for example, what type of running shoes do comrades runners speak about? You can either do that or you can look at just the, the entirety of their conversations and see what comes up and what's trending if you wanted to. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add my social panel that I've just created, it's probably still loading, as you can see there. Awesome, so once we have created our social panels, we can now explore our audience and what they talk about. So what we're gonna do is we're going to plug our social panel into a query. We're going to pull in 
all the conversation we can coming from this audience on Twitter. So we are going to add a new query. Once we say add new query, we can go to the bottom left hand side and click on add social panels. We are going to plug our saved social panel into this query. And now we're left with two options. We can either explore the audience in its entirety. So take a look at their demographics as a whole, as well as everything that they've been speaking about over a certain period of time online. So you can really pick up on key trends coming from this audience and then try to tap into those. Or you can use specific search terms to look at a specific part of the conversation coming from this audience. So if you really wanted to zoom into, let's say, performance apps, you can type in the, um, the specific keywords related to these performance apps like Strava or Garmin Connect, or I'm just going to say Garmin for now. Um, Garmin and then you can refresh your results and then you can see what conversation is coming out using these keywords. For the purpose of today I'm going to rather run the query straight um, and pull in all the conversation coming from this audience. I'm going to go next, I'm going to save my query. Runners. And I'm going to go as far back as, let's say, January 2021. So once we have saved our query, social panel, query, save, we can now play around with our, our social panel query. So I've already created a dashboard um, prior to, to this. That dashboard is looking at the overall commerce runners conversation, but it's also looking and zooming into um, key areas of the conversation, for example, such as wearable tech. So you plug in your query and then what you're able to do is you're able to add a number of different visualization and components to your dashboard um, to start telling the story you want to tell. So we're looking at overall demographics for this audience, very big um, male focus. We see what their top interests are, what their top professions are and in what countries we find them in. We can also take a look at who are those top authors within this audience. So who's driving conversation based on impact. Uh, you can also look at who is speaking the most. So I can revise this and take a look at who has been speaking the most over the last 365 days. We see our friend over here is very active. But if you want to really look at who your most impactful authors are within this overall audience, you can um, do that. So we can take a look at who this individual is and what they speak about on a day to day and tap into, into that persona. We can also look at key Twitter themes. So what are the top stories being shared by this audience? What are the top hashtags being shared by this audience? Um, as well as who are the most mentioned people? Who do they, they mention the most? As well as what are some of those key emojis that they focus on? Then they also um, retweet a lot. So you want to see what what content is your audience engaging with the most and the, are your top retweeted pieces of conversation over the date range, which is 365 days. So you can do that. You can take a look at the overall audience like this, what they're interested in, what they're talking about, or you can zoom into specific um, areas of the conversation. So I want to take a look at when it comes to wearable tech, I'm just going to rename the share voice. When it comes to wearable tech, um, what are they saying or who are they talking about the most? Is it Fitbit? Is it Garmin? Is it Apple? Is it Huawei? Um, so we're able to really zoom into that conversation as well. And we can see a big share of voice coming from Fitbits. <clears throat> 
we can see whether the conversation has increased or decreased over a period of time in comparison to a previous period. So you can see our oh, audience is taking an interest in Fitbit, they're losing interest in Apple. What, what could that reason be? You can also take a look at overall sentiment coming from this audience when it comes to these key products, as well as when they are mentioning these key products, what kind of mention type is it? Are they speaking about it originally? Original post being, I go on Twitter, I tweet, and that's an original post. Or I'm adding a comment or reply to someone else's original post. Or I'm just sharing or retweeting. So you can see with Garmin, lots of shareable content. Whereas Fitbit, the conversation is being driven via comments and replies. <clears throat> And then you're also able to take a look at key peaks within these key areas of the conversation. So if we explore this peak, for example, and we go summarize this conversation, we can take a look at what are the key areas? Is it a competition? Um, are, are they engaging with a specific brand? We can see what that conversation looks like. That's it for now. I've tried to keep it short, but I have failed. <laughs> But if you have any questions or you just want to explore this idea of social panels and what it can do for you, please reach out to you know Technologies and we're here to help you. Thank you.